Next is what I eat to bulk. incline barbell today. Do the incline barbell because longer range of motion, you, you know, it just it helps your flat out. So incline four by ten. Gonna keep the weight honest today. No Also have these little like 2.5 plates and um, you just can like attach them on and off of the dumbbell so so yeah they're just 2.5 each and these are 50s I'm not that strong but make these 55s at night right now school night in the home gym gonna bang out some questions that you guys have been asking me on social media platforms so yeah it's what I eat to bulk and definitely some carbs fats and proteins if you ask me no I'm just kidding uh, bagels 100% bagels those things are like three, 400 calories for like a little amount of food. Um, nuts, definitely nuts. Just my strategy with them is to just snack on them like throughout the day, just get a little bowl, maybe like eat a little bit and then two, 300 calories, just easy down the hatch, you barely get full. But yeah, I, I just made a video on this on my Instagram, which is Really, you gotta try to eat as clean of foods as you can while bulking because this is gonna make it so you don't gain any unwanted fat for the most part. Obviously, when you're bulking, you're gonna gain some fat, but yeah, a lot of that fat is gonna be unwanted if you're just mindlessly eating 7,000 calories a day. Whenever I say that in my videos, like, all right, I'm gonna go eat 9,000 calories when I get home. That's not true if any of you think it is, but yeah, I, like I said, 3,500 to 4K ish. Some days it's like 5,000 if I really did a lot of cardio or like, I really feel like I want to be full for the next day if I got like deadlifts or something, but yeah. How many calories do I eat in a day? So. I mean, this kind of depends because I don't track exactly. I kind of like at the end of the day, get like an idea of what I ate in that day. So I don't have an exact answer for that question, but around 3,500-ish, I would say if I'm bulking, but my maintenance is like 2,800 to 3K, I would say. But yeah, I, I try to eat like 3,500 to 4,000 
My shoulders hurt on bench press. What should I do? So my tip would be 100% warm them up before your like your rotator cuff and just honestly just like that whole area that you're using for pressing. So your front delt, I mean your side delt too, uh, your chest, your triceps, and that big rotator cuff. So I've made a few videos on my Instagram, so you guys got to check that out if you want to see. No, nah, I'm just kidding. So what I do is I do some like rotator cuff warm up like this and honestly just like stuff like that with cables, um, not with dumbbells because if you do it with dumbbells, it's just going to put all the pressure on your front delt because you're just trying to like keep it up the whole time. So yeah, definitely use cables and go super slow with them and don't rush them. So what do you do when you have knee pain on squats? What I do, I don't have basically any knee pain for the most part now because I use knee sleeves, but it definitely could be a form issue is what I think. So what people don't really know is that lifting your toes, if you're not really careful on doing like something like a sissy squat, where you just put all the stretch and emphasis on your quads and not your knees. You're, if you lift your heels up the wrong way, it's gonna make your knee hurt real bad, like real bad. If you do a normal barbell squat, oh man, oh, that just does not feel good. So yeah, my response to that is keep those heels down. But you might think that your heels are gonna be down when they're not, which I did for a little bit. I, I thought that my heels were down the whole time, but they weren't. Um, so I took a video and I was like, wow, man, I gotta fix that. And then, yeah, I fixed it. No more knee pain. What did you do to get your shoulders so wide? First off, I don't think my shoulders are that wide, but thank you very much. What I did to make my shoulders wider was Everybody's like, spam lateral raises. That doesn't work if you just mindlessly spam 19 sets of lateral raises every day. So, but what I did was just go heavy. I'm saying heavy with good form. Like it's really easy to have bad form on lateral raises, but go as heavy as you can with good form for like, I don't know, at least eight to 10 reps. I don't think doing low reps on lateral raises has a ton of benefit because I just don't feel it a ton in my side delt. But yeah, do lots of sets. Like treat it as it like any other muscle group. Like for your chest, you wouldn't just do three sets for your chest, right? So I'm saying do as many sets or just about as many sets for chest as you would lateral raises because I mean, it's any muscle, you wanna train it, right? You wanna make it bigger. So I, for a while I was doing like seven sets of lateral raises each push day or chest day or whatever. Um, I, I did seven and it just, it didn't, I kinda felt like after five or so, five or six, it just it didn't have much benefit. It was kinda just some fluff work so what I did was I kind of cut it down to five, but I'm doing five every push day. And sometimes on like my rest days or <clears throat> oh, I don't know, arm day or maybe a leg day, I just throw in like a few sets just to get a pump and I don't know, <laughs> give the side delt some stimulation. So my tip with that to make your shoulders wider, tons of lateral raises. Um, Heavy bench, heavy pressing. Oh, this is one other thing. I, I This is not part of the question, but I need to mention this. Um, I feel like I need to mention this. You should not be doing front raises ever, 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 ever. You don't want your front delt to be way overdeveloped than your side delt. Your side delt is gonna be shrinking to the side where your front delt is gonna be like coming up way in the front. It's gonna be super uneven from the side. So, I say no front raises at all. If you're doing lots of heavy pressing, like incline bench, 
flat dumbbell, flat barbell, all that stuff. That's gonna give your front delt so much stimulation. You don't need to do 50,000 sets of front delts. So I just feel like I need to say that. What should I do if the bar slips out of my hands when I deadlift? So my answer to this is either under over grip, which is one hand over, one hand under like that, or straps, which I use like you wrap like the straps around the bar. So if you just do a double overhand grip, like you're not gonna be able to progress very much on deadlifts or even any back exercises like super, super well. So what I recommend on just deadlifts, do not do this on like a lat pull down. Don't do under over grip on a lat pull down, but use straps or that under over grip because yeah, that's, yeah, it's not really gonna work to just do double over here. Where do you get your weights from for your home gym? I got most of mine on Amazon or Facebook Marketplace because on Facebook Marketplace, especially because people list items for way cheaper than they should be. Like it's, it's crazy how much discounted price you can actually get. So. 100% Facebook Marketplace. Um, yeah, just honestly, what I did to find stuff is I just look like every day, just scroll down, 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 and just you just see if anything like interests you, and yeah, you just pick out what you want. Okay, that is the Q and A finished. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see next. Thank you so much for watching. We are almost at 500 subs. It's only up from here. So here we go and peace.